This episode of Out of Spec Reviews is brought to you by Magna. More on that later. Hello and welcome back to another Out of Spec Reviews video. Welcome to a Toyota Mirai and welcome to an H70 hydrogen fueling station. Now, if you're curious about a little bit more about the fueling process, I already have a video on this channel about basically my first time using a hydrogen station. But since then, we just took this on a round trip from here in Los Angeles, North Los Angeles to San Diego and back. That video is on out of spec motoring. And now we are down to well under 10% full of hydrogen. I want to say state of charge, but this is all new to me. We're going to see how long it takes to fill it back completely full to 100% here at a what are we at? A true zero H70 hydrogen fueling station. So this is all the hardware required for the hydrogen station. This is a really nice station. There's two pumps over there with a new Mirai there and two right here, which is pretty neat. And we've seen insane throughput today. We've just seen so many cars coming in and out of here, fueling up with hydrogen as we're starting to figure out this technology. Uh, this, I imagine, is a hydrogen electrolyzer station. I would think there's two types of stations. You can have one which would be a truck drops off, tanks full of hydrogen that are full, but I'm not really seeing where a truck would drop any tanks. And I'm seeing uh, this giant box that basically I think generates the hydrogen. Also, if you take a look up this pole, there's like a vent valve all the way up there that can vent, I guess, excess gas to the atmosphere. It probably is really loud from what I hear. And um, basically, yeah, I think this generates its own hydrogen, which is why it's labeled as renewable hydrogen in the app. And you can see it's making some noise in there. Um, very interesting stuff. I'm a newbie to hydrogen. So all of you hydrogen guys in the comments, you can laugh at me. You can see just a nice guy filling up with hydrogen over there. Um, let's fill up the Mirai from zero to full. I'll explain a little bit more about the process, but the first thing we have to do is to pop open the fueling tank, which I can do with a button right there. Okay, that should display and open this hydrogen fueling port. And the way fueling hydrogen works is very interesting. Uh, there's two different grades of hydrogen. There's H70 and there's H35. H70 stands for 70 megapascals, or the equivalent of about 10,100 and a bit PSI of pressure, which is very interesting. Now, H35 is the older standard, but there's still some legacy stations around. This one is not one of them. H70M just stands for, are you a member of True Zero? So that's nothing fancy. Uh, that's my understanding at least. And the, um, what was I gonna say? H35 is really funny because it can actually only fill the Mirai to 50% state of charge or 50% full. The Mirai actually has three individual carbon tanks, high pressure carbon tanks that are capable of, I think, 80, 90, or somewhere around 100 megapascals. Basically, the fueling process isn't so consistent. My understanding is it kind of pumps in, lets out, pumps in, lets out. So it basically has to pump a little bit higher than 70 megapascals to fully fill the vehicle. What I'm gonna do is insert my credit card. I wanna see, A, how much it costs to fully charge with hydrogen. I've never done it like that. And I also wanna see how long it takes. So we're gonna set the timer. I'm gonna prepare my wallet. I have no idea what to expect, but I know it's gonna be quite expensive. The Mirai actually comes with $15,000 worth of free fuel from Toyota from a lease or a purchase. It lasts three years on a lease, because it'd be a three-year lease, or for six years on a purchase. And honestly, I'm not so against hydrogen. I'm kind of coming around to it. It seems to work pretty well in the Southern California area. So. Let's get the card in. Let's see how long it takes and how much it costs. This episode is proudly brought to you by Magna. Magna is a mobility technology company that is super unique because they touch 
every aspect of almost every car in the market, especially a lot of electric vehicles, and they pr even can produce vehicles from the ground up. Now, you may remember I shot a series just recently testing some of their new electric vehicle powertrains, so stay tuned for a lot of Magna content to come. We're going to be going in-depth with some really interesting topics with these guys, and Out of Spec wants to thank Magna for sponsoring this review and tons of other videos to come right here on Out of Spec. We look forward to working with Magna to define and find out what the future of mobility looks like. Well, I can hear this giant station behind me making some noise. I got my credit card. Uh, Toyota does give free charging and they gave us a gift card, but I was like, I'll just pay for it. So, uh, card in. It's very similar to a gas station. We are at a gas station. Remove card. Okay, no problem. This is really quite fascinating. And I'll explain sort of the refueling process. Yes, I'd like a receipt. That would be nice. Processing. So it's, I guess, pre-activating my card. <laughs> Putting in zip code. Whoops. There we go. And um, everyone knows our zip code. It's okay. <laughs> Please wait. Waiting. Essentially, what's going to happen, pump ready. So we're going to take this. Wow, it's actually freezing cold. Look, it's kind of wet from condensation. And look, there's actually a bit of ice on here. It must have been used previously. You can see H70 is flashing. So I'm going to click H70. I'm going to put this on the port till it snaps on, which isn't happening. Why isn't this happening? Okay, I think we're good. Can't pull it off? Yes, I can. Not good. Come on. Maybe it's just too cold. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. You feel the pressure pop in there? There we go. That's what we wanted. Now we're locked on. I think it may have actually been frozen in the unit because earlier today, I just plugged it in and it went. So now it says replace nozzle. This is the second time it's done this. I still kind of feel like an idiot. Okay, so nozzle off. The nozzle's quite scary looking. And return to dispenser. Okay, do we have to go through the process again? Let's see. Come on over here. Now it says connect nozzle to vehicle. Maybe it needed a little bit of a reset. There we go. That went in nice and easy that time. So here are the instructions, it says true zero charging. All right, you have the stopwatch ready. I'm gonna hit H70. Let's wait for a second, come on over here. As soon as we, yep, start, 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 there we go. So what it's doing right now is it's doing leak checks. So it's pressurizing, releasing, pressurizing, releasing. And it's basically doing these slow pulses to see if there's any leaking. My understanding is there's three stages of filling. The first is lower pressure. You can't just dump 70 megapascals into this thing. So it's going lower pressure first right now, then it's gonna switch to medium pressure tank and that then it will go to the full 70 uh, megapascals, 10,000 PSI to fully charge us. You still have the stopwatch going? Okay, so come take a look over here. You can see it's measured in kilograms by the amount of energy that goes in. So we've done about 300 miles on this full hydrogen fuel tank, which is pretty good considering we've been absolutely ripping it, uh, you know, driving down the highways very quickly. On the way back, we kind of stretched it a bit to make it here, but I have to say the hydrogen thing's almost no different than an electric car. If you need more range, you just slow down, turn off some stuff. You want less range for it. It's kind of easy and fun. And so now what I think is happening is it's switching from the low pressure to the medium pressure and it's going in. Everything, by the way, really freaking cold. <laughs> it's pretty wild. And it just makes noise and yeah, come take come in really close so you can kind of hear what this thing sounds like. Just hissing sounds throughout. And um Essentially, the benefit of hydrogen over electric vehicles is the quick filling process. The downside is you have to come to a station in order to fill it. And the station and infrastructure seems to be the problem. So come on over just as it's getting loud. Um, 
and, and I've mentioned this many times, but I know you're going to comment it. Essentially, and now I think maybe we're switching to the high pressure because I can feel it ramping down. And now it might be switching up. I guess you just can't shock the tank. So I think there, there can't be any more than 200 bar pressure between input to whatever the, the tank pressure is. Also, hydrogen's one of the only gases that heats up as it expands. Hydrogen and helium are the two. And so what that means is you have to chill this to almost minus 40 degrees Celsius. It goes through a pressurizer, then a refrigerant process and into the car because the tanks can't handle any more than 80 degrees C. So it's going in the car, kind of expanding, heating up, which means it needs to go in really freaking cold. Okay, so benefit of hydrogen over EV, quick charging. Benefit of EV over hydrogen, you can plug it into any wall outlet, you can charge it at home and it's just honestly an easier and better experience for passenger cars. However, here in Southern California, this does sort of make a bit of sense because we uh, have been staying in a hotel without overnight charging for an EV. We also have an EV. It takes some amount of time to fill this thing up. We'll find out. But certainly it takes more time to charge an EV from zero to full than it does this especially as an EV starts to slow down as you get up top. This seemingly goes quicker all the way uh, and it kind of stays steady. It is temperature dependent, forgive some of the noise. This is ambient temperature dependent and I think the warmer it is, maybe the faster it charges or fills. Forgive me for not totally knowing all of this stuff. So we put about $60 in so far. We're at 4.3 kilograms. I don't know if there's a fuel level anywhere. Not that I can see. How many minutes in are we? Three minutes 50. Uh, I guess it's sort of impossible to charge it in anything less than about four or five minutes from zero to full just because of what the tanks can handle pressure wise is my understanding. Um, and now it says it's done. So what's the time? What is it? 4.30. Four, th four minutes and 30 seconds. It says F6. And I'm not sure if that means it's faulted or it's full. But it means it's something. So now it says remove nozzle. Okay. So I'm going to... I actually can't... Oh, just about can. Take a look at this. It's all icy in there. You don't want to touch that. This handle's actually frozen. And look at this cable. You can barely bend it. Ice is forming on the outside of it. It's like... Um, like a charging cable that's frozen in the middle of winter for an EV. It's really fascinating stuff. So I'm going to replace the dust cap here. Again, I'm not saying this is the better technology to electric or combustion. I'm just interested in trying this stuff out. And the fact that we, I think, fully filled it in four minutes is pretty nice. Let's go take a look at the tank. Run around. Now we're inside of the Mirai. By the way, if you're curious about the car, I have a full driving review coming. Uh, or it's probably already up on this channel. Big graphics go on the screen. And let's take a look. Fully filled, 260 miles projected with our ripping speed. That, that's impressive. We've done 320 miles, but we did top up a little bit in between that so far. I am not saying I'm a hydrogen proponent for passenger cars. For medium and heavy duty trucks, I think I am. It's just interesting to explore the technology. The problem is, out of all the hydrogen stations kind of in the area, oh, you're using my phone, it's fine. Uh, like 50% of them seem to be online right now. This one's a good one though, brand new. It's worked the entire trip for us. Um, cool, well, uh, that's how long it takes to fill up a hydrogen car. About, what was it, about four minutes and 30 seconds, right? That is pretty sweet. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.